so let's watch it. April 2021, 97.9 million views. God April damn! April 2022, 8.5 million views. In the space of only 12 months, Quebblecop's viewership has fallen by roughly 90%, and we're going to outline every single mistake made which has brought him to this unfortunate point. Now, to cut Quebblecop, aka Geordie, a little bit of slack, we need to specify that because he's a gaming YouTuber, some of this decline has actually been out of his control. We've explained in past videos that gaming YouTubers often have a very volatile career, True. as their view count is directly tied to the popularity of whatever game they happen to be playing. Sure. We can see this trend when looking at Quebblecop's best month ever back in August 2019 when his channel would achieve a monthly viewership oh, of 166 damn. million. At the time, Minecraft was coming back into the mainstream bolstering Quebblecop's content whilst Fortnite was still in its prime YouTuber phase giving him countless opportunities <laughs> for the fresh fuck? new videos. Since oh, he's one of these control over the popularity man. of these games, you might go ahead and call this an element Kara, of I luck. However, almost everything oh, else which really bringing in these 160 6 million there you views go, had been a result of Quebblecop's actions. For example, Geordie was a master at collaborating with other YouTubers. I'm a YouTuber. I want to know more you. YouTubers. I want to get to know all the YouTubers. Hmm. I want my friends to be YouTubers or people that are doing similar stuff. This became most evident after forming a YouTube trio known as Robust, which included Quebblecop alongside two other familiar faces, Jelly and Slogo Man. Quebblecop explained that his first viral video with over Logo 14 Man. million views was him, Jelly, and Slogo simply messing around on GTA 5. As their relationship strengthened, a video where Quebblecop simply met Jelly in real life for the first time gained over 12 million views. The trio were even picked up by PewDiePie's YouTube network Revel Mode, alongside Markiplier and Jacksepticeye, with the subscriber crazy. count of Quebblecop, Jelly, and Slogo being the best God. piece of evidence for the success they'd find as a trio. In addition to forming the robust group, Jordy began dating fellow YouTuber Azzyland in 2016, with Azzy herself having a multi-million subscriber shit. count at the time, meaning that they could collaborate on various different videos providing further growth for each creator. Yet the overwhelming driver behind Quebblecop's extreme viewership was without a doubt his laser focus on the content in combination with an unwavering work ethic. <laughs> After beginning his channel, Geordie made a commitment to upload one video every single day, which he would continue for like a period for of over nine Quibblecop. years. 27th of August, 2012, I said to myself, I'm never gonna miss a day of uploading, no matter what, no matter what happens. And every day I'm gonna make a video that's better than the one before. Is Additionally, all of his energy was being French? focused on one channel only, ensuring that the one daily video Bro, was what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Bro, what is this? That's my childhood? Bro, what the fuck is that? Bro, I... Bro. What the fuck is that? Highest what? quality. Every day I worked on it. Every day I studied it. I watched tutorials. Fuck? I read articles. I spoke to people. I practiced. And every day I made new videos. And within this daily upload, it was obvious that Quebblecop's goal fuck? was to ensure the most fuck? optimal Yo, experience I, for the chat, my audience. Ever, I was making videos chat, that. If my YouTube ever ends up looking like that, just. Fucking congratulate me for knowing how to play the fucking game and farming like kids my for your shit, basically. Watching, right, so I asked myself, what I understand is my audience what I understand. I get what love the doing. most? Each of those clips from Quebblecop's discussion on the Watch Time podcast also displayed just how switched on he was in terms of personal development and the correct attitude required in order to grow a successful YouTube channel. So if he had the correct attitude and mindset in order, why after five years of gaining an extremely consistent oh, 100 million hurt. views per month, did this number drop to between five and 15 million over the course of only a year? Well, in order to answer that question, let's begin by looking at a Twitter post made by Quebblecop in early 2020. Before things go any further, I want to address the rumours. After three and a half years of being together, Azzy and I recently broke up. I have nothing but love and respect for this beautiful, smart and caring woman. Please respect our privacy, thank you, which was accompanied by a video approximately one year later, conveniently <laughs> just before his views began to decline, explaining the reason behind their breakup. Why did you guys break up? Well, as you guys might know, I'm from Amsterdam, the Netherlands, oh. and as he is from Canada and it was a long distance relationship once the honeymoon phase was over we realized that we're two people from completely different places however it would still be a little far-fetched to blame Quibble Cop's decline in viewership on nothing but this separation sure he had one less person what to collaborate and make videos with however if Sorry. we take the date of Geordie's oh, separation announcement cold, March 2020 and place it alongside his view count at the time he actually went up in views after breaking up with Azzyland of course there were other factors at play during this time such as people 
being at home and therefore watching more YouTube due what to the pandemic, the yet as an overall, the data doesn't really suggest that this breakup had much of an impact on his eventual decline in views. However, it wasn't only Azzyland that Quebblecop would stop Damn. making videos with. After five years of filming together, the robust trio being Quebblecop, Jelly, and Slogo would Bro. also slowly disintegrate. Instead of playing with Geordie, who was busy making various reaction videos, Jelly and Slogo replaced him with a different YouTuber by the name of Craner, which was noticed by fans on Reddit. The last thing I remember was that Quebblecop was playing Minecraft with Jelly and Slogo Man in Robust Town. Now everything has changed. Jelly and Slogo Man replaced Quebblecop with Craner in a new Minecraft server. Quebblecop made his own solo play, and right at this moment, he's only doing reaction videos. What is going on? <laughs> Anyone got the explanation for it? Why is he now not playing with his friends anymore? Why isn't he playing games anymore? Is he going to maintain it like this? Sanus 12 year old on Reddit. Again? First, he took down the vlogs, but then he stopped playing with friends. As this became an increasingly common discussion in Geordie's comments section, was, he'd upload a video I titled Why I Left Jelly and Slogo, yeah, explaining that as a result of making video after video with the group, each of which following a similar narrative, Quabblecop felt as though he wasn't growing due to a lack of creativity. I saw that my creativity was running out. Dad, I was are you in just chat, doing by the way? things with the group. I was going into that direction. I realized that I stopped growing as a person and that I just stagnated in life and I was just doing the same thing. Geordie also explained that at around the same point in time, he'd become depressed, which made him feel as though he was holding the group <laughs> back. Just like I me, ended up real. getting a depression, which I've never, ever, ever Don't said anywhere it, publicly, channel. but it was also holding them back because I couldn't give them the energy that they needed to make these videos good. And uh. as a result, he began to participate in fewer and fewer recordings. It wasn't a clear cut, bye guys, see you tomorrow. And instead it was me joining less and fewer and fewer and fewer recordings. From this point onwards, Quebblecop was no longer making videos with the group, which had helped him to become so successful in the first place. <laughs> he then began to collaborate with a Wait, new what? YouTuber going by the name of Tiger, yet this would also end in another Ow, Gwen, God damn, Quebble Cop that's got my into a fight. After this fight, I was pretty much left with nothing. Quebblecop found Tiger when he was still a small YouTuber, and while the details aren't public, it seemed as though Quebblecop offered guidance and growth to Tiger in exchange for part or full ownership of the channel i'm like this guy could be a really big youtuber if i would coach him a little bit he, he is what? he has so much talent now this went exactly as planned in the beginning they started playing together and pretty quickly tiger's viewership skyrocketed from 2 million views per month to 20 million views per month however at around what? the same point in time tiger randomly stopped uploading altogether two months later tiger would upload a video yeah. on a different channel titled why i left quibble cop and tiger explaining that he couldn't talk about what had happened with the channel and i'm not gonna get too much into who wasn't the right or who wasn't the wrong because um I can't. But he was no longer friends with Quebblecop. Everyone is asking the same you, thing. You, Why are you not w. uploading to Tiger and what happened between you and Quebblecop? Well, guys, it essentially boils down to one thing, and that is that me and Quebblecop are actually no longer friends. Oh. I feel hurt. <gasps> I feel disappointed. Oh, no. I feel betrayed. Oh, and most of all, no I feel forgotten. Friends. What would become obvious later was that somehow Quebblecop had claimed ownership over Tiger's channel, as he would upload a video where he had cloned Tiger's voice and attached it to an AI, which would provoke another response from Tiger, who was once again insulted by Geordie's actions. He made this cartoon character, loaned my voice, and put it on the tiger what the fuck? Listen, Jordy, this cartoon version of you might be your shit. best friend, but I'm not your best friend, okay? I'm not even your friend. And after Tiger called him out, Quabblecop seemed to panic as he would delete every video featuring the AI Tiger clone. The two would make up on Twitter with Jordy stating, oh life is too short to have enemies. Care, Yet shortly you. thereafter, Quabblecop would Lucky, end their exchange by blocking Tiger on Twitter. But then for some reason, <laughs> I'm the to block go, me. But you Holy know what, man? Shit. I don't care. What's most can't interesting sweet. about this whole interaction is that it correlates perfectly with the point at which Quebblecop's views began to decline rapidly. Right However, the reason they for the impending that. decline wasn't the I drama can't, itself, but rather one discovery made by Geordie throughout the conflict with Tiger, being that he could make an AI character to act no. as a real person. Oh, one of the biggest lessons I've learned in business is that pretty much everything you dream is possible. Cloning yourself, too easy. Four years ago, I was in the middle of a burnout. Made three videos per day yes, and streamed two no, three hours per day. I wished I could clone myself, so I did. What Quibblecop is referring to in this Twitter thread is a channel he launched one month after the drama with Tiger, which posts gaming videos and uses an AI character as the main personality within the videos. Now, there's nothing wrong with anyone beginning a second channel, but when looking at the numbers, it's obvious that this new AI channel going by the name of Blue was seriously fragmenting Jordan's attention on the main channel. It was launched in May 2021 and began to do 4 million views per month instantly, yet if we look at the Quibblecop channel, May 2021 was 
fucking also the point you, at which he's ah, going Quinn. from an That's my thigh. Damn. To 60 million views per month. Quibblecop began to celebrate like the strides that his AI purpose. channel was doing, yet he also seemed completely oblivious to the massive decline that was happening on his main channel. His average monthly viewership well, was down by 40 dude, million on Quibblecop while he was celebrating 4 million views a month on Blue. It was the very definition of the man who chases two rabbits catches neither, and this decline on the main channel brought about yeah, further I mean? changes, which would ultimately <laughs> make things would. even worse. Quibblecop would upload a video titled My Most Important Video with I Quit in the hey, Thumbnail, girl, explaining like that I can't even go to them fucking YouTube. Dumb I'm having a hard time being creative. I'm having a hard time having fun in my job. I'm having a hard time Are sleep. I'm always w worrying about True. YouTube, always thinking about YouTube. I'm not enjoying True. it as much as I was before. Before going on to state that after 10 years, he was discontinuing the daily uploads. That's why after 10 years of making daily videos, I quit. I quit making daily videos. Quibblecop would finish the video by stating that starting from today, he planned on making top quality content that the audience wanted Aww. to see. Starting today, He's from start now making on, music. you can expect my next video to be top notch to be really flipping good to be exactly good. what you want to see yet the first three videos posted in the days <laughs> that followed were him bragging about his ten thousand dollar dog then him bragging about his custom orange g-wagon <laughs> then him bragging about his 7.5 million dollar penthouse apartment welcome to my seven and a half million dollar penthouse store let's see if this video can hit one hundred thousand likes you? and it's just like why, why would you? so wait here's my question why the fuck would you buy a seven and a half million dollar apartment? Motherfucker, you could buy property in a house for half that. What the fuck? you post this dude? Not only have you stated in the past that you apparently don't do YouTube for the money. I don't care about making an extra buck on YouTube. I don't care about the money. I really genuinely do not do YouTube for the money. But do you really think the audience wants YouTuber, to open dude. up the YouTube app and instantly see something that makes them feel inferior to you? Do you think new viewers on your channel want to open up the video section and see one video saying I quit followed by three videos talking about how rich you are? You think it's just a coincidence that David Dobrik got cancelled in the same month that he posted his brand I new multi-million dollar house to YouTube? When you invite envy into the life of others, you pay for it in ways which you will not expect. The three videos felt like yes, nothing are, more than a validation seeking exercise which came that off as quite insecure. As a 2008 study by the Journal of Consumer Research stated that when people feel powerless and out of control, they feel an increased desire to purchase items which can Oh yeah, price. Carrie, you're here now. Question, um, we were watching a video earlier and this dude fucking, or this chick, they were watching the button and this chick skipped out on this dude because he had Legos. What is your opinion on that? Do you think what do you think about a dude who has a lot of Legos? I'm just curious. Also, don't worry about the background. Don't worry about that. Status. Further, this increased attraction to high status products stems from a specific he inclination to read. Yeah, he had a lot of Legos. What is your opinion on dudes with a lot of Legos? Established power, yeah, uh, which might explain what? Bubble Cop's motive to upload these off-brand videos. Maybe deep down, Ew. he felt as though he had lost Ew. his position of influence, which was certainly plausible because at the time <laughs> of mean, uploading the videos, his monthly viewership okay. had declined by over 85% from its I'm peak. Kara. Additionally, Kara, his house tour might have been evidence that Quibble Cop had fallen into the classic trap of becoming distracted from the channel by the items he was able to purchase Says as a you, result Ducky. of the channel in the first Says place. You. This theory could be supported by the fact that after uploading his house tour to YouTube and announcing that he no longer planned on uploading daily, the video slowed dramatically. It went from one video per day to only two videos in both March and April of 2022. I don't mind Legos. I'm not trying to offend anyone, but I used to babysit four boys and they were nice. Huh? Doing further damage to the channel's view count. Now, we can't neglect the fact that his blue channel has well, actually gained a bit of traction. for you. As you can see right there, I have a fucking giant Lego set that cost me $300, so A+, plus, I'm gonna keep, if it's gonna keep you busy, I'm a grown man. Motherfucker, you're not a grown man. You're like 16. I'm a grown man. And, and so that absolutely kept me busy for a fucking entire day, like literally a day and a half. Action over anyway. the last couple of months, gaining between 10 and 25 million views per month. However, when combining the views of both Blue and Quibble Cop together, even on the best months, he doesn't crack 40 million views, which is still less than half of what he was Hell able man. to achieve while simply focusing on yeah, one channel. In a recent video titled My $100 Million GTA 5 Business in Real Life, if you're looking for which a, a in similar life, kind perfect. of vibe to the apartment tour, Quibble Cop talks about how he's also launching an NFT stupid, business so and is working on a video game, potentially fracturing his focus from YouTube even further. As mentioned earlier, 
Pobblecop is extremely switched on in terms of how to build and run a successful YouTube channel, although as a whole there are two obvious okay. problems that need to be solved. The first problem, which thankfully is relatively easy to fix, is one relating to ego. Geordie, I know how much we as males love to brag. It's written in our I'm DNA to talk endlessly about how good we are, but you have to resist the urge to do so. <laughs> Proclaiming your high status by posting videos of your G-Wagon yeah, totally. and a multi-million dollar home ironically Sir, does the opposite of what you want it to, as your audience doesn't want to follow someone that needs to be validated in any way, shape, or form. The second problem is a little harder to solve as it requires either more sacrifice Care, or time, right and I could be wrong altogether with this second problem because I'm not sure what kind of numbers your other businesses are doing, but your focus is clearly fragmented, or maybe you have too the many fuck? things to focus on. Not you claim to have between 50 yeah, and 100 employees. I'm running a business with time. I don't know how many employees. Anywhere nah, from 50 nah, to nah, 100 nah, employees work eight. here. Yet your views are significantly below where they were during any, any other year since 2016. The potential inefficiency of this was also noticed by some of the sidemen. So Krebelkov has basically <laughs> tweeted out saying that he spends on average 14 King, me, days and 14 editors snap, to make one Fuck video. Now. Instantly, I'm thinking your, your team or your process is incredibly inefficient. And while the one step back for two steps forward mentality is a great thing to have, something feels off with the numbers. You Maybe you're just Discord, bragging you about did. employing way more people than you actually do. And if this Don't is the case, it's just too. another piece of evidence for the previous point. Quit with the bragging. Nah, it's not necessary and adds no value to anything at any point in time. When you appeared on the Watch Time podcast with Muselk, one very mature thing that you said was that you appreciate hey, when your YouTuber friends say, call you out on things. Eight. So while I was probably Let's a little come. bit harsh in this video, you know hopefully it can because... provide some genuine tough love feedback you know about where you, you know can improve going exactly. into the future. Because we're literally on sync, dude. I told you. I'm perfect. King. What? What, son?